vinegars. I am all about the vinegars right now. Vinegars are actually an inexpensive or less expensive way to try out medicinal herbs and really easy to make. I did a workshop a while back on making herb infused vinegars. We had a great assortment of mineral rich herbs. Basically, all you do is take about a quarter jar of the dried plant matter and then fill it up with a good quality apple cider vinegar or you can make your own. I'm working on that. You fill it up to the top and basically let it sit for about three or four weeks. The timing is up to you. So here we see one of the workshop participants making her own herb infused vinegar. That's how it looks once it's done. It's already beautiful. This hibiscus vinegar is already releasing a lot of those flavonoids that are so healthy, antioxidant. So what I did here is I've added a piece of wax paper between the jar and the lid so that the acid in the vinegar does not eat away the coating of the top of the lid. So here we have our herb infused vinegars. They have been sitting for about three weeks and now I'm just going to strain them and I'm going to do a little taste test because I know that vinegar is really good for extracting certain properties from the herb or plant matter, one of which is flavor. So we're, I'm just going to do a little taste test and see how they compare to plain apple cider vinegar. So, so what I have here is just a regular tea strainer. Um, the kind that fits in a cup. And I'll put that into my measuring cup. My one cup measuring cup. And then... I'm just going to pour it in there. And you can use a coffee filter or cheesecloth to strain this with. I am just pressing it down with the back of a spoon so I can get all of that goodness out. Okay, and then I rinsed my jar out so it can go right back in there. And I put my plant material here so it can end up in the compost. So. I'm just gonna go on now and strain the rest of these. I made, um, back in the workshop, we made burdock, dandelion leaf, and hibiscus flower. Oops. I can definitely smell the earthiness of the burdock root. So that should really make for a nice base. I use my herb infused vinegars for salad dressings or to add to greens or um, some folks take a spoonful or two of apple cider vinegar every day for health reasons. And I just no longer see a reason why you should just be having plain vinegar, even though that does have a lot of health benefits by itself, but it could very easily be boosted with some nutritious herbs such as burdock, oat straw, dandelion leaf.
Wow, that is really good. That is really good. The herbs kind of have mellowed out the sharpness of the vinegar somewhat, and it really has a nice earthy flavor. As you can see, it's dark. It's pretty dark. My yield was not as much from this, I see, because unlike the oat straw vinegar, the plant material took up the space, the root took up the space in the jar. It wasn't absorbing as much of the vinegar, whereas in this jar, I feel like the oat straw did take up some of the actual physical space, but it absorbed a lot of the vinegar and I was able to squeeze that back out. So my yield was a lot less for the burdock vinegar. The oat straw vinegar has a nice mellow flavor to it as well. It seems like both of these particular roots help to mellow out that sharpness of a plain apple cider vinegar in a pleasant kind of way. This is a bit more grassy. This is a bit earthy and nutty. This is dandelion leaf, and as you can see, again, the leaves absorb quite a bit of the uh, liquid, and you end up with a much bigger yield with the leaf than the root. Mm, I can smell the, um, I can smell that dandelion in there too. Let's add this to our compost bowl. Let me just go rinse off this spoon here. And we're gonna give our dandelion infused vinegar a taste. Whoa. Okay, so I really can tell the difference when I say the burdock root and the oat straw mellowed the sharpness of the vinegar. It is very much still sharp and apparent in the dandelion leaf. Infused vinegar. There's a little bit of a bitterness behind it. Dandelion leaf tends to be bitter. The root is even more bitter. It's not an unpleasant bitter bitterness to it, but it is definitely there. And that apple cider vinegar sharpness is definitely present. <laughs> yes. Okay. One more. This is always very beautiful. Our hibiscus flower apple cider vinegar. Look at that. Can you see that? You'll be able to see it in a minute. I mean, it is a vibrant, it's crimson red. And you don't even need that much hibiscus. I can already smell the fruitiness of it. We're going to just squeeze that out. Let me clean off my spoon and rinse this jar out right quick. Okay, I'm back. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can get it. I don't know if I can get it through the light. How red. It's not even... Um, you can't even see through it. So this is this should be interesting how it's going to taste. Let us see. You can barely see through it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Very tart. The sharpness of the apple cider vinegar may be a tiny bit more mellow, but the tartness of the hibiscus is definitely there. This is probably going to make a great 
strawberry or raspberry or just even a hibiscus vinaigrette as a salad dressing. And um, we're going to be experimenting with more ways to use vinegars in the next coming weeks. Quite a bit of a yield from that. So as you can see, the flower petals do not take up as much space and they release their volume of vinegar. So that, I think we got the highest yield from the hibiscus. So there we have it, a beautiful assortment of herb infused vinegars that can be used in a variety of ways. We're gonna be exploring different ways to use them in some upcoming videos, but I just wanted to share with you the finished process. These can now be placed in the refrigerator. I'm gonna put fresh wax paper over the top between the top and the bottom and pop them right in the refrigerator. All right, take care.